Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be filming a haul of clothes that I'm going to be selling on my Instagram page. I've made a separate Instagram to sell my clothes because I just can't deal with Depop, it does my head in. But you might be thinking, Ellis, have you dyed your hair brown? Nope, just my roots are that bad. They're awful. I actually look like I've got brown hair, but that's fine. So basically, we're in isolation at the minute and it's nearly been... It's been five weeks or six weeks. I've either been, I've, it's been too long anyway, it's well over a month. So I decided to go through all of my clothes and I've sent a lot of them to charity, stuff that I know that's just not worth selling. I've kept probably under half of it and then I'm selling the rest. Currently it's all just sat around me. Before I do like a haul of some of the main bits that I'm selling, I'm gonna insert some footage of me clearing out my wardrobe. I really enjoy watching people sort through their wardrobe and makeup and that kind of thing so I thought that I would film bits of it and I'm going to like time lapse it, that kind of thing. So the haul that I'm doing today isn't everything that I'm selling um, so if you do want to see everything go and have a look at my um, Instagram page. Yeah there's going to be like a range of shoes which are all size 7 if anyone's interested but the clothes are all like such a different range of like sizes. I think we've got like 6 to men's 32, 32 leg jeans so we've got plenty for everyone but i feel like it's gonna be quite a long video not like my other videos aren't really long already but yeah i'll pop the um but i'll put but i will can't speak but i'll put the put but i'll put the footage in now of me sorting it out me sorting through everything let's get into it I'd say we're over like halfway so this is what's going to charity this I'm selling at the minute but some of that might go into charity because I'm not gonna be able to sell all of that that's what I'm keeping tiny little pile and these these this is still to go through and these are some shoes to go through Thank you. 
Okay, so this is everything that I'm selling. I mean, bearing in mind this big fat box. This is going to charity, so ignore that. But all of this, all them shoes, not that. I can't, I can't do all the tape pictures of all of this. Ugh. I've literally done the worst hairstyle to do a try on video ever. It's definitely coming down. I've been meaning to take pictures all day and now it's three o'clock and I'm literally just sitting down to do this portion of it all. I'm gonna film first and then take pictures. And I said that it'd be up tonight. And my skin's been great for the past couple of days and now I've got two big fat friends on my face. It's all just great, isn't it? And we're in for another three weeks. Oh, and I know it's not an ideal time to buy stuff. So if you want to, like, if you want me to keep stuff for you, like reserve it, and then when this is all over and you're back at work or whatever, um, I'm happy to then send it out then and like you buy it if that makes sense. If you have any questions or anything, just message me and we'll work something out. But I'm gonna try a few bits on, but I'll just hold up other stuff because um, I don't need to try it all on. Obviously, like shoes, you know how they look on your feet anyway. Um, so I might just start with shoes anyway. So I'm a size seven. The first pair of shoes that I have are just from Shoe. Um, they're these big chunky ones. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Um, just really big chunky. I don't the, don't think they have a name, but they're just like the Shoe own brand ones. Um, they've been worn a few times. They've got a little bit of mud on, but I'll wipe that off before I like take the pictures in them. I should have done it before this, but you know me, I'm useless. I'm really conscious that can't give me, I hate speaking when there's other people in the house. The next pair of shoes I have are from Koi Footwear, I think, Koi Footwear. And I've literally worn them to take a picture on Instagram in, because I'm just that gal. Um, and they're just these huge, Doc Martin-y looking platform shoes. Very comfortable actually, and give you a lot of height. So the next thing that I have is, basically I worked with Foot Asylum for a home shoot, so a lot of brands are starting to do home shoots because of the whole staying inside kind of thing, we can't go to work. So I did like a campaign-y at home with Foot Asylum kind of thing. So they sent me all of these shoes and things, but I just won't wear them, so I want to sell these to then buy a pair that I'd like, if that makes sense. So these are all brand new and just been worn in the house. So first off I have these slide on vans. They're really, really cute. I just know that I won't wear them. I'm just falling over. So, um, can you see? Is it focused? I don't know. No? Maybe? Who knows? Um, they're these grey vans with cream as well. A UK size 7. Um, next we have the superstars in this beautiful lilac purpley colour. Again, that's what they look like. Is that going to work? I can't tell. No? There? Maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you get the gist. I'm looking at my phone because I can see the screen on my phone. There we are. But they are very nice. And then, also with shoes, we have, these also have just come out of the box. They are the Adidas Gazelles. Gazelles? Gazelles. And again, like a lilac -y purple colour. Just dropped them on the floor. Size seven, very comfy, very cute. Nice and grippy for all your gripping needs. Oh, my hair's already ruined. I'd say I'm like a proper true to size, size eight, like for most brands. Maybe ever so slightly bigger at the minute because I've been eating like a little pig. This top didn't have a size in it, but I mean, you can see the fit on me. Pretty tight, so it would fit quite a lot of people. It's also got like, loads of stretching, so if you had a more fun of bust than me, which is very easy to do, you would fit in this. These are a waist 26, a leg 32, um, and they come up to here on me. I'm 5'9", so these like literally just touch my ankles, which is cute. You can also roll them up, cut them, do whatever you want with them. The next thing you have is these Levi jeans. Um, I bought them at Urban Outfitters about three years ago, but haven't really, shush, haven't really wore them. Um, these are a 31 waist, 32 leg, and they naturally sort of sit at my hips. You can obviously get a belt and tie them up to where you want them. I have cut the legs of them, so they are 
this length on me. I can't find anywhere that's got decent lighting that's far enough back to show you my full length. They do have... Can't really show you. They do have like a flare rip here, but I really like it. It's like character and jeans in it. The next thing I have is this top, which is adorable. I really, really, really like it, but I just have quite a broad back and it's a little bit tight. It is a size 6. The next thing that I have is these Tommy Hilfiger shorts. Again, I got these from working with Foot Asylum, so they are brand new. I was just an idiot and took the tag out, um, but I think they're originally like 65 maybe £75. Pound. Um, obviously, they'd be a lot more discounted on my Instagram. Then, this is so like sporadic. Then we have this top. I'm not very really, like good at showing you clothes. This is really, really, really cute. My boyfriend's really annoyed that I'm selling it, but I just don't wear it and I feel like it could have a better home with someone else and get a lot more wear out of it from... It's from Urban Outfitters and I think it is like 32, 32 pound maybe. These buttons don't actually come undone. It would definitely fit a size six because it is really, really stretchy but it's still really comfy on a size 8. It might fit like a small 10. We've also got a lot of room for boobs if you have them, which I don't. But everything like will be listed on my Instagram with sizing, like proper sizing and everything. With t-shirts and stuff, I don't really need to try them on, I don't think. But again, from the Foot Asylum shoe, I have this Tommy Hilfiger grey t-shirt. It's just like this length. This is actually such a cute little... Tommy Hilfiger outfit. It was literally worn, I can't pick it up, but literally worn for like less than an hour. I have no idea what's happened here, but the sound's gone and this video's already doing my head in enough, so I'm not gonna re record it because I also am in bed and look like a mole. I have no idea what I'm pointing at here or what I was supposed to be saying, but I'm not gonna refilm. I've already sold this top, apologies, so I'm just gonna skip to the next one. Okay, so we have some beautiful jeans next. I'm not so sure whether I actually want to sell these or not because I love them so much. They are men's Lee jeans. I think they're a 32 waist, 32 leg, but on my Instagram they're marked properly. And I just love them. And now there's a train going past. This video is just an absolute shambles. Um, I can't think of... Oh, yeah, that that's why I want to buy some more instead of having these ones. Um... But yeah, it still works. You can hang a t-shirt over the back or whatever. I love wearing them. They're just so flattering. But I feel like it's now time to buy some actual jeans that fit me. As you can see here, this is how big they are. Next, I have this. I can't tell what it is yet. Come on, Ellis. Oh yeah, um, you'll have seen it in two or three videos ago where I did that haul. Basically, I just don't really have a desire to wear it. It's a lovely top, but... I think one of you would like it more than me, so I'm selling it. I think it's a size 10, um, but again, it'll be on my Instagram. But I just know that like either V necklines or like high necklines suit me a lot better because I'm quite broad for my size. Box necks, is that what they're called? Square necks, they just don't really suit me and if I take pictures in them and stuff, they just... Not the most flattering thing so i'd rather sell it to someone who would wear it a lot and um, also if you would like to swap clothes i would consider um but please don't feel offended if i don't say yes because you're choosing to swap this i don't know what you're gonna offer me you know i really want to do a charity event like that like a swap shop kind of thing but i'm gonna i think talk about that in a whole new video because you know i don't i don't know i want to make a video on that to see if anyone would have any questions or opinions or a little bit of help. I feel like I've just got this idea at the minute and then I'd need a lot of people. So I might put some feelers out and get planning it while we're, well, while we have the time. Next is, I'm not going to try this on because it's scandalous, but it's this O Poly bodysuit. It is beautiful. I don't know why I'm flinging this top around, but it's really annoying. But I just wouldn't wear it. So again, it was just worn from a shoot. It looks like it's really like, but it's just really low back and very low front, so. But I'll be posting pictures in it on my Instagram, like I've said, in every single thing. So the next thing I'm absolutely obsessed with, but I just know, fine, well, I won't wear it again. It's from Nasty Girl, and I wore it to my friend's 21st, and it's part of the Josephine, Josephine, 
I can't remember her second name collection. She's like massive on Instagram, really bougie gal. It's just, oh, just look at it. It's not too like, here's my boobs. I would recommend boob tape with it if you are gonna have a little bev. But if you are gonna buy it for prom, you might, uh, oh prom, prom's not a thing this year, is it? If you were to have a prom once this is all over, or like a big celebration, because that's what I do. If my prom was canceled at school, because of this, I would then like have a big party where we all dressed up anyway, so we did that even if the school wasn't like involved or anything. Um, but this would be perfect, just make sure you get some tape to tape down the boobies. We don't own an iron in this flat, and right now I don't really fancy buying an iron because that's not very exciting. I'd rather buy something that's going to keep me entertained rather than things. So normally we just like hang clothes up and the creases fall out of them anyway. Just realised I haven't shaved my armpits, but that's fine. But someone please buy this because it's just beautiful. Got to figure it out. My dad wants to track my helmet when he was putting me on my bike, my helmet clip here. So now I've got a fear of zips and things being on my thing. Sorry, Dad, calling you out there. I mean, obviously he didn't mean to do that. I just haven't found the perfect one. So who? I'm just gonna leave this on as a top for these jeans. These jeans. Mm jeans these i love but i just don't wear them i absolutely love these and i have worn them quite a lot just a bad manufacturing thing with them can't do that thing all the poppers apart from the top ones and the bottom ones have fallen off but i still like i just wear them like this anyway because i feel like cheryl cole when she's like we got a fight 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 her, yeah. I hope no one's watching me. I always get that, but whatever. Very cute. Ta-da! Right, the next thing that I have is quite big, but you can make it work. So these, <laughs> these are Adidas sexy little joggers. And I absolutely, I mean, ooh, I might keep these. They're just very big around the waist, but you can, like, do them up, obviously. I'm gonna see how tight they will go. Oh, I might keep these. I've never tried them on, they're my boyfriend. I really like these. I'm gonna keep these. Sorry, if anyone wants to offer me a lot of money with them, you can do. I'm keeping, oh dear. I literally can't find anywhere with nice lighting or that's comfy, so I'm like half lying down, like, paint me one of your French girls kind of vibes on my bed with the light behind you, even though it's sunny and it's the middle of the day, but apparently, no one's wanting to cooperate today, even Cameron. He's just shouting through there, so it's fine. <laughs> Basically, I forgot to do an outro earlier in the week. I filmed this like nearly a week ago. I have sent parcels out to Belgium and stuff, so if you are in Europe, I don't know about America at the minute with the current situation, but I can definitely post to Belgium if that's any help for any of you. Everything will be linked down below. Stop shouting. I have faked hand and curled my hair since the last video, obviously. Hence why I'm a little orange. White jumper probably wasn't the best idea just because it makes me look oranger. But I felt like a mole yesterday, so I thought, why not make myself look cuter? Maybe. We tried. Um, but anyway, hopefully we'll be back. Oh, he's doing me. I want a soundproof room. You gonna stop? No. Someone's drilling now, brilliant. That's just what we want. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there because everyone's doing my head in. So thank you very much for watching that video. And if you got this far, well done. Good on you. If you could like this video, that'd be grand. If you could comment, that'd be cute. I reply to them all. A lot of people have been commenting really cute stuff on my videos and really helpful things. So thank you very much for that. If you wanna see anything else, let me know. Hopefully Cameron will be doing my makeup this week and that will be up next but we'll see, because you know how reliable I am. Me saying I want to post once a week and literally have nothing else to do and still I'm unable to. See you soon, stay safe, bye. Please buy all my clothes, bye. Bye my things, please.